good kitten internet. This is actually the second recording that I've done this uh, for this one because I actually recorded a good chunk of this and then realized that my microphone was muted. So, um, as I mentioned in the end of the last episode, I reloaded back at the autosave and all I've done is the exact same thing that I did before, only instead of resting and then proceeding to die slash go insane, I actually slept instead. So, oh, um, something I should point out, it is currently 8.27am on Thursday, the January 4th. The way training works in Might Magic 6 is that regardless of how much you train, in this case I am leveling up 8 times, from 1 to 9, you actually spend 8 days in game training, and it will set you at 9am of whatever day that is. And you'll have to forgive me, I'm eating a plum. These are really good plums. It's the rest of my dinner and oh, the, that plum's really good. Um, so what I like to do is minimize the amount of time that I'm spending training by just leveling up in batches. And this is the first batch of level up that I'm doing from one to nine. I would have liked to have done 1 to 10, but alas, I didn't quite get enough experience. And to be fair, normally I actually do a batch from 1 to 5 first, basically finishing off New Serpical and then leveling up there. I decided to do something a little bit different for this, because it's fun. So, um, before I go actually leveling up, I need to buy a couple of things. Does this place have... Yep, Devil's just are misunderstood. Naturally. Also, I think I should call this episode My Magic 6, the mandate of um, horribly racist stereotypes. So we're going to see a lot more of that this episode, unfortunately. Anyway, I need to pick up certain skills. I still don't have bow. Also, let's go ahead and save. You notice that I've cleared out some of the old saves from previous. I wanted to make sure things were, oh, right, I'm not actually a member. And membership was elsewhere. Hey, this is earth magic expertise. Oh yeah. We can actually level up. Let's go ahead and do that. So, leveling up gives you a variety of things. My nose is really itchy. Um, uh, I think I'm starting to get a cold. Uh, leveling up does a few things for you. Uh, first off, it gives you more hit points and spell points. Well, not the Cavalier, but it gives you hit points and spell points for anybody who's not a Cavalier, and just hit points for the Cavalier. Hit points are based off of your class, so sorcerers get the least amount of hit points. I think think they might actually be getting one per level one or two it says it in the description of uh, bodybuilding anyway they get the fewest number of hit points per level and each time that you promote you get an extra hit point per level unless if you're the knight then you get two extra hit points per level and all of these are retroactive so it's not that big of a deal if i promote like the cavalier is not going to have more hit points because i promoted at level one versus promoting at level 20 Sure, the Cavalier will have more hit points right now, but by the time the Cavalier reaches level 20, it would be the same. Uh, second off, it gives you skill points, and these are the things that are important. So, Matt here is going to be our expert at water magic. I am just going to immediately do that and hold off for the moment, and I'll explain why a bit later. Here I have my expert in air magic. That's good. Ed, Ed's my cleric. Hmm. So, what I would like to do is also get expert learning. Is expert learning trainer here? Hold on, let me look that up really fast. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I have that tab over here. 
Uh, see, we'll go with skills. Sorry, I have my notes on a different monitor if, in case if you're wondering. So let's see, let's go to other skills. So I don't have repair item yet, which is strange for me. I probably should have picked that up by now. I guess that New Sorpical didn't have it or something. Hmm. Yeah, because nobody has repair item and I need it pretty badly. Um, body build. Okay, so yeah, it is one for sorcerers. Uh, but what I want to know is learning. Where is the learning expert at? Learning experts are in New Sorpical and Castle Iron Fist. Okay, I'm not going to be back there for a while. Hi, Sam. Okay, so we have our knight, and I had said that I was going to use an axe for the knight. The problem being that I have yet to find a good axe, and I literally have the best two-handed weapon in the game. Or, unenchanted best two-handed weapon in the game. But a promise is a promise, so I'm going to be using axe for my skill. So I don't want to throw anything into weapons right now. In addition, I don't have the correct armor type. My intent was to wear plate mail. While I have plate mail in my inventory, I don't actually have any plate skill. So I'm going to wait on that as well. Disarm trap, I'm just keeping at level 1, so I'm not going to bother with that. I do need an expert in perception, though. And I'm going to need somebody who's an expert and eventual master in merchant. So, Perception is New Sarkical Bootleg Bay. I'm going to be going to Bootleg Bay. And Merchant is here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is that. Okay. Ed is going to have multiple types of magic. Spirit, mind, and body for the time being. I'm not in the location to get any other type of magic at the moment, and I'm not going to be going there for a bit because my next location that I want to go to is Bootleg Bay. Speaking of, um, where can I go? How do I get to Bootleg Bay? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, those are stables. You're going to take a stable to Bootleg Bay. Sorry. I know, riveting watching me type. Alright, travel schedules. Here we go. Let's see. I am in Freehaven, and I want to go to Bootleg Bay. I can't get there from here. Okay, that's interesting. Where can I get to Bootleg Bay at? So I can get there from Castle Iron Fist and Mist. That's it. So Castle Iron Fist, I mean, I need to go to both locations, but it's going to take me some time to get to either of them. Hmm, let's see. I can get to Castle Iron Fist for here from sure. And I think I can get to Mist from Freehaven also, yes. And what day was today? Friday. Let's pause that. Uh, Friday, I can get to Iron Fist and not Bootleg Bay. So I will be traveling to Castle Iron Fist today. And that takes four days. So Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I'd be in Castle Iron Fist on Tuesday. Castle Iron Fist on Tuesdays brings me to Bootleg Bay. Okay. I'm good. So I'm just going to make sure I travel on. Uh, sometime during the day today. So I'll be grabbing quests and so on while I'm here. Buying up as much as I can. Trying to find anything useful whatsoever. That's going to be useful for a later quest. You have a quest that you need the remains of Ethric the Mad, the first lich in the world. Great. Yep, liches. That's totally something I can handle at level 9. Hello. You are fire magic expertise. Which means you are water magic expertise. Yes, please. And air magic is here? I don't think this was air magic. Yeah, this is the stone cutter. Is it just those three? 
and air magic someplace else. Uh, let's see. Air magic. No, it's in free haven. Hmm. Oh, it's probably here, isn't it? Hey, good to see you. Yep, good job, me. Yes. All right, got those two at expert level. So what this actually does for me is that you'll notice that now my fly spell is 10 minutes per point of skill instead of five minutes per point of skill. Basically, it's doubled in duration, which is nice. Wizard Eye also now shows treasure. Notice the blue dots on the map. That is actually the main reason why I needed to expert this as soon as possible. There's always a gate master in this house, so it's fairly easy to go town portaling. And I could do that. It's going to cost me a bit, though. Hello. A duper. So some NPCs that, anybody that's in a house is always going to be willing to join you. You don't have to bribe or beg or anything. That's part of the reason why bribing, begging, and threatening doesn't really work. Dupers are actually a negative NPC. That is, they give you a downside. Hey, good to see you. Expert plate training. That'd be great if I had any plate training. All right, this is one of the places that I need to, it's an F11, yeah. I need to get membership. Dang it. I keep forgetting. I don't have membership to Jack Squat because last the last episode I decided to try to cheapen out on things because I didn't know how much money I was going to have. Which, to be fair, it's probably the correct route. What I really need is plate armor. Oh, they're not yelling at me. How kind. Um, but unfortunately, I can't learn that here to my knowledge. I think the only trainer here is the Smuggler's Guild. I'm going to have to learn that back in Castle Iron Fist. Hey, how's it going? That's right, you want teeth. You're weird. Um, yeah, back in Castle Iron Fist, where I hey, can't you. get... Identify Mastery would be nice, except I don't need it. Bwahaha. Speaking of, I should probably get a second hey, NPC at going? some point. Uh, you want Harpy Feathers. You're a laborer. I care nothing for the laborers. Hey, Not in this going? game, at least. Uh, you have nothing. Hey, how's it going? You have nothing. Hello. You have fire guild membership. Sure, I will join. At this point, I might as well just join all of the guilds. Bards, for reference, give you an increase in reputation level. So, constant single category bonus to all of your reputation. It's one of the ways that you can try to cheese into getting maximum reputation, which is needed for mastering a certain skill. Your expert merchant, which costs a lot of money, unfortunately, but it's kind of key for anything that I'm going to do. Your house doesn't exist, because that's the way this game works. You want gongs. You are a potter who's willing to abandon your child, apparently. How are ya? Expert sword, once more. That How would be nice. Expert knife. Not going to happen anytime soon. Guild of Earth. I don't even have an earth mage. You're a traitor. Traitor! Also, um, this is the easiest place in the game to find various NPCs. Because it's the place in the game with the most number of NPCs. I know, it's kind of shocking. You're a surf. How are ya? You're looking for amber. How are ya? Relief clovers. I know I'm in range of bad stuff. Counselor. Porter. Apprentice. Peasant. Haha. <laughs> Peasant. Buying bows. How are ya? You're a farmer. I believe this is the area that I can buy. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Spirit Guild Membership, Body Guild Membership, and Mind Guild Membership is here. Yes. Okay, now what I need is to get one specific Mind Magic spell. Once I have that Mind Magic spell, I no longer need to ever care about disarming traps again. And it should be for sale...
over here. Oh, over here. The, the mind magic guild place is in a weird spot. So now let's go ahead and do this. It costs way too much money. It costs 11,000. So I need to sell some of the stuff in my inventory. Next that noise that I'm hearing. And my housemate must be doing something. Anyway, we're going to max out water magic as high as we can at the moment. I believe that will get you to nine. Okay. So what this means is that we now have a 90% chance of enchanting items. And because I'm at expert level, I can do in stronger enchantments. What I can't enchant right now are weapons. That requires master, master level. But the reason why I wanted to do this is that I have a bunch of things in my inventory that are enchantable. Speed plus seven. Oh, what time of day is it? It's not noon yet. I should wait another hour. There's something weird about the way this game handles enchantment that I was reading about, and I don't necessarily believe it, but I might as well try. So let's go ahead and wait an hour. Right, I have as a quick spell. That's actually a really nice set of armor. I mean, they're both nice. I will be keeping one of them. And what I'm doing is that I'm enchanting all of the things that I have so I can either sell them for money or equip them. I'm hoping to sell some for money because I am kind of like poor right now. Uh, let's see. Lunar ring is enchantable. I think I am out of inventory space. Well, first off, Don't touch the let's sell some of the garbage that I know that I'm not going to be using. Okay, I have got a bunch of weapons that I can sell. I don't think that's enchantable. This totally is. Is the limit 250 or 350? Uh, one note. What's my one note say on enchantment limit? Go away. Enchantment limit for weapons, uh, staves in this case. I think that might actually be enchantable. Anyway, one way to find it. Oh, no, I can't enchant it anyway. I'm not going to worry about it. That's right. They fixed that glitch. All right. Um, nope. Oh, that's just a regular spell fail. Unfortunately, I don't have a way of... Restoring MP, do I? Not without using potions. Great. So, um, let's go ahead and sell a couple more things. Also, potentially buy things to sell. Like, for instance, regular plate mail is totally enchantable. None of these are enchantable. And that might be enchanted. No, I don't think that is actually. Um, yeah, so no. Let's go ahead and sell. Uh, that'll get me more money. But I'd rather keep it because regenerating hit points on a knight is great. I don't think that's enchantable. I'm actually going to sell it because I need the money. Which is sad, but true. Don't touch the merchant. <sighs> Maybe I should level up merchant a little bit higher. It's a bit of a waste. Don't touch the merchant. OK. 
can get a little bit more money for it at least. <laughs> Wait, this was the place where there's two different... Let's see. Let's do an experiment, everyone. I'll go ahead and sell something cheap here. So, this Crusader Sword sells for 185 And yes, I know it's enchantable. I'm not going to keep it around until I'm Master Water Mage, because that's a very long time from now. But anyway, 185 Also, do you have anything I can enchant here? I don't think... That's not enchantable. That's not enchantable. That's right, they're weapons. I can't enchant them right now, anyway. Aha! There is actually a guild here. Okay, I just need to find who sells Duelist Edge. Also. You don't seem to do anything. That could actually just be that I'm hey, to too high in a stat. There's a Water Master here. That's nice. nice to see you. What's your quest? Ah, Cheryl. I'm going over there anyway. Duelstead. There we go. Now I bet I can buy plate mail proficiency. What do you need? I'll you Bow. Yes. That will be that will okay. Be Ugh. I'm getting s political spam through email. Or through text messages. I hate that. Okay, you're going to get chain and shield. And I'm not going to be able to afford... Um, Whatchamacallit, uh... No. Oh, that's right. I don't have that, do I? Well, you're gonna wear that for now, at the very least. It's gonna go in his inventory. You've got bow skill now. You've got bow skill. You've got bow skill. These still need to be sold. That's right, I was going to go to the other merchant shop. So there's two merchant shops in this place. Because that's how big this town is. Two weapons merchant shops, I should say. Just I need to be quick before the fireballs hit me. Feathers and string is the other one. And 185, okay, it's the same. And you have some nice bows, but I don't want to buy those. That's a really nice bow. Maybe I do want to buy that. And elven bows are not enchantable. That's right. <sighs> nope. I need to save money at the moment. I'll be fine on bows. Precision bows are enchantable, so the limit's 250 then. Regular long bows are too. Oh, I keep forgetting to actually repair your stuff. Let's go to the armorsmith here. Now it's repaired. Um, <laughs> Defender Helm is totally enchantable, but costs too much money right now. And I don't have my merchant skill up high enough to justify. Um, which one call it? Um, justify spending money on buying armor, enchanting it, then selling it. Because that's the primary way you actually get money later on in the game, is by buying stuff that's enchantable, selling it. Hello, Brenda, and your fur mask and neck. Always confusing. So, so, that's enchantable. I know what that's enchantable. I should just enchant it. I'm going to keep that. What do you have available? You have belts. That's not enchantable. That is. That is. Ah, boop. I wish I had more money. I wish I had more money. Also, I should make sure that OBS is up so I can see how long that this video is. Am I even going to get to Bootleg Bay? Okay. You go over there. You go. Uh, that could be sold. That could be sold. That can go there. That can go there. Those are quest items. I don't actually need the Goblin Watch code anymore. 
Um, I'm going to just turn around and sell the last two things. Technically, I could probably sell for better in Castle Iron Fist, but well, oh well. And that should be everything I need to do here at the moment. Because Perception was in Bootleg Bay. No, there was... I wanted to get Expert in at least one of these. So, um, Mind Magic. The main thing I need in Mind Magic is Telekinesis. It doesn't particularly matter what skill level I am. Telekinesis is Telekinesis is Telekinesis. I think the only difference between the skill levels is how fast you respond. I don't care. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, body magic is healing. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm also going to increase your learning. So I'm going to be a little split on my experience, unfortunately, because my mages need to focus on... Th well, this mage needs to focus in water magic until I get to 13, I want to say. This mage is going to be a little more split like that. Anyway, um, spirit magic does have some nice things at expert level as well. I should probably bring both of these up to at least expert, but uh, money, I don't have enough money to get expert in all of these things. Unfortunately, he's going to be really slow with the chain mail. Also, I meant to pick up a shield and, or not sell one of the shields. Oh, well, I'll pick one up later. Uh, yeah. Let's go find a body magic expert. Where was that at? I know I've seen it. Over here was the elemental experts. Oh, let's actually pick up body magic. Healing spell would be a good idea. I should be able to afford cure wounds at least. Power Cure is definitely out of my price range. Power Cure is the very nice cure spell. That's the area of effect healing. There's only two area of, three area of effect healing in the game. Four, technically, if you count moon, the moon attack thing. But effectively, three area of effect healing spells in the game. Power Cure is the conventional one. There's also a spirit one that basically lashes everybody's hit points together and divides it out equally. And there's also a very high level light magic spell, which I will be inevitably getting. Cure wounds. This is what I'm looking for, though. Oops. Should actually use my correct character for things. I will also pick up cure poison. Um, already have cure weakness. I'll pick up harm. Nah. Yes. Yes. All right. So, to give you an idea as to why I keep cursing first aid, first aid will cure five hit points. Cost two spell points. Uh, once I get to expert, it would cure seven. Cure wounds, on the other hand, cures five plus two points of per uh, two per point of skill. So at my current rating, that would be thirteen hit points for five spell points. I'm just barely more efficient at cure wounds right now until i expert then first aid would be more efficient again but this is faster and not to mention the moment i throw in another point of skill like if i threw in another point of skill in the body magic right now it would definitely be faster anyway what was i doing um i was going to head back to new serpical um body magic expert Body magic expert. There is one in Free Haven. I should go find that one. I want to say. Okay. I want to say it's over here. But those were just the ones. These were the people who were selling the Elemental Hello. Guild. Yeah. That was on Elemental Guild. So I can picture the NPC in my head. That's the worst part. Thanks. You are not the NPC. And yes, I'm basically just skipping Earth entirely. There's nothing in Earth I really care about. Hello. So in My Magic 7 and 8, you can actually label things on the map. So this map here, I can actually start throwing labels down so I can find anything. 
Pleased to meet you. Ryan's creepy teeth lady. Don't need to find her. Hello. You want kegs of wine. Hello. You're just another follower of Ba. You're a chimney sweep. Hello. You're a chef. Chef, sir. Okay, I guess. Oh, so I should explain banks because if you've noticed me playing and noticed me walk right by them this entire time, it's because they're kind of worthless. Um, what you do is that you can deposit money into a bank and then you have money in the bank. It never gains interest. The only thing it does is if that you die, the money in the bank isn't taken. That's it. There's no other point. So just don't die. That's easier. All right, was the expert over here? How close am I to, okay. I need to pick up this pace a little bit because Please I'm starting to run you. low on time. I still don't have the freaking skill, which is going to piss me off. I can't town portal bootleg bay, by the way. That's the reason why I'm not too concerned about picking up a gate master here and heading out because it wouldn't do me much good. Hello, yeah. yeah, this gate master. So these were elemental ones. I remember that. Right? Hello, yeah. You're earth. Yeah, that's what I thought. Which means you're the follower of Ba. You're a core master. Why can I never find anything in Freehaven? How are you today? Spellmaster, doofus. No, really, that. See? Look. Dorfus, excuse me. Donald Dorfus. With a derpy with a derpy look on his face. Good job, game. Um I'm sure that there's at least one person screaming at me telling me where there is the uh, body magic expert right now. You know what? I'm going to be back in Freehaven at some point anyway. I'm not too concerned. Unless if you're over here. How are you? you might actually be here. Hello? Like in these three, I want to say. How are you today? Aha! Yes. How are you today? Okay. There we go. I have seven... That's not enough money for me to even buy staples. Alright, I need to go find something on the ground to sell now. I can sell that. That'll work. Alright, now that I am horribly poor, I can't afford to travel still. Ugh. This is why I hate, hate being so low money at this point of the game. It's because all it's doing is slowing me down. Please move out of the way. Thank you. Oh, that's a goblin watch code I dropped. All right. How much is it going to cost me for stables to Castle Iron Fist? I can afford that. I will check the horses. Any type of fast travel costs money or food and or food, I should say. And we'll take an amount of time. In this case, it was four days. I am in now Castle Iron Fist. This is the first town that you can reach that doesn't have a town fountain or a um, dragon tower, actually. Which means that you can't teleport town portal here. Hi there. You're in armor. Okay. Hi there. You have a quest for me. You have... Uh, I need money so bad. Okay. What can I do for a quick amount of money? You have to sign up first. Looking for a weapon. Oh. Hi there. You're the expert bow. And mine guild membership, which I'm already a member of. So, I need money. There's something I can do for money. It's called killing stuff. So these are followers of Ba. They are the weakest enemy in the game. Goblins are actually stronger than them. They cast a spell called Mind Blast, which is actually a spell that I could cast if I felt like it. The reason why followers of Ba are threatening is that there's a lot of them usually. Note, I am not, like, specially leveled or anything. I'm just level 9. 
I don't have any spells on me right now. There's no buffs. I'm not even doing this in turn base mode. Also, they're obsessed with hitting that one cleric or er, sorceress of mine. See, it's so much better healing. Sixteenth, I'm fine on time. Loot these bodies, and that should give me enough money. Not that followers of Bar are worth all that much money, but I didn't need that much. Oh, yes, I did because I want to actually buy plate magic skill. That's going to cost me about a thousand total. So I guess I'm going to go across the bridge and kill more Bar. Or I should say, sneak around the back of the bridge. Take out these lizard men. The lizard men in this game are archers, apparently. You're not the person I meant to heal. Come on. You're the person I meant to heal. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Everybody has bows now! I don't need to be in melee range anymore. You notice I'm getting hit a lot harder, and the reason why is that I'm dealing with Archers. Archers everywhere. Archers everywhere. Okay. This was not the smartest of ideas. I'm not good at dealing with archers with this party right now. Archers are kind of the weakness of mages early on in the game because you can't do much about it. You can cast the shield spell but I don't have it. And my armor class is so low that I'm just getting hit constantly. But I have a little bit more money at least. Enough where I can at least buy membership to the guild. And see how much plate it's going to cost. 345. Okay, that's not that bad. I can get a little bit more money pretty quick. Uh-oh. No, I can't. I need to run to the boats right now. And I don't even know if I'm going to make it. I might actually have to reload from my autosave. I forgot. Uh, I don't remember which one it is now. I'm going to choose the wrong one, aren't I? Aha! And hoist the sail! Arr. I needed to go to Bootleg Bay. It just done on me. Have... Wait, there was a reason why I was doing this. Bootleg Bay is the reason. This is Bootleg Bay. This little island is terrible. The Temple of Sanasia, you get here pretty early on. I mean, at this point, I'm kind of here at the appropriate time, kind of. But this place is, well, I have now walked every house other than the tavern. Tavern's entrance is on this side. And this is... Eric the Innkeep. That's it. This is the entire island. So if you don't have fly or water walk, this is as much as you can do. Luckily, I do have fly and water walk, actually. I'm gonna cast water walk because it's cheaper. And it'll last an hour and 28 minutes. I'm fine. So... What I'm going to do is water walk over to here. And you'll notice that I'm fighting archers again. Main difference is that there's fewer of them. Unfortunately, they're higher level. Luckily, the rest of them are... Insert racist stereotype. Ugh. I don't have good ranged attacks at the moment. Ice Bolt. Yeah, notice how much damage Ice Bolt does. Ice Bolt's one of the most efficient spells in the game. Okay. I have one archer remaining. 
otherwise, I'm good. Yeah. Hang your loud music. They're cannibals. Ugh. It's the problem with playing any game from the 90s. Not that present time is significantly better on racism, but, you know. Ooh, I've got a shield. I don't care. It's better than nothing, which is what I currently have. So, the reason why I wanted to go to Bootleg Bay is that I actually have a goal here. I think this place was bad. Or this thing was bad. Let's find out. Oh, it doesn't seem to have any significant effect. More cannibals. These are the different gender version of the can same cannibals. They're actually a different class of enemies and they have different abilities. Um, these, the higher level ones, the witch doctors, have fire attacks. They're still pretty weak fire attacks. I mean, nothing in here is all that strong. As you can tell from the fact that I'm not even bothering to heal. I am in turn based mode, though. Um, the other cannibals, their highest level has an earth magic spell instead. Okay. So. We are not picking up skulls here. We are going to trigger this trap. And get money. That's enchantable. That's not. And everybody's wearing shoes. Okay. All right. How long do I have left on water walk? An hour? Sure. Um, right. I'm at the edge of the world. I want to say it's this way I need to go on the other side of the uh, place. Well, while I'm walking, let's go ahead and heal up a bit. So for water walk, it drains your magic as you walk over water. It doesn't actually drain your magic when you're on land, so it's relatively efficient cost-wise. Normally what you do is that you sail over to the other islands, but ain't nobody got time for that. Not to mention, you really shouldn't be doing these islands without water walk at least. So, the three types of enemies here are lizards, cannibals, and cannibals. You'll notice that there's no townspeople on this map. It's because the game only really handles three enemy types. Um, it actually handles four, oddly enough. Uh, it only triggers for bosses. That is a lowercase rock. This is a pedestal. We'll have to come back later for that. Uh, was it down here? I need to go. Nope, this is an empty island. Uh, once more, check. Active spells, 12 minutes left. You're going to recast Water Walk. This is where I need to go. This is potentially a very dangerous area, so I need to be a little careful. Yeah, I too far away from me because these people cast lightning bolt the lizard wizards yes I know what I just said also how long have I been running this 44 minutes okay it seems longer than it has been that was overkill Heal up. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about how this is going. Okay, now this is only a one front battle. This isn't anywhere near as bad. Except for the fact that I'm dying. Almost dead. Dead. Okay. Good. You should heal. You're at 7, you're at 13. 
Why is... Oh, that's right. He has extra hit points and endurance. That's why. Um, you get to heal again. Now my crappy chance of hitting and striking again. And condition green. Okay. So, this is the island that I wanted to be on. Because this has a, t a shrine on it. And this was the whole point for me coming. Plus 10 might permanent. So, um, each month there is a different shrine. This month, the January, the shrine is in Bootleg Bay. Normally you can't get here that early, but the game gives you a little bit of a bonus if you do. Normally you have to visit an oracle to tell you where the shrine is at. Even if you already know because you've played the game dozens of times like I have, it doesn't matter. You still need to visit the Oracle first. The one exception is January. You don't have to. So, I did it. Plus 10 might for everybody. Permit. Uh, if you come back here the next January, I want to say it's plus 2 might. And you get 2 might from then on out. So, 85 might is a lot of might for a level 9 character. Still need a lot of XP to level. And for that matter, 35 might on a bunch of really weak characters is also a large amount. Um, you notice my hit bonus is actually really high. Oh, that's nice. It gives me re my recovery time. Okay. Um, that was the main reason why I came here. There's other reasons as well. Um, how's my... Okay. Wizard Eye will expire before... Or water walk will expire, so that's fine. Just gonna heal up some more. We can't rest here. Yes, please rest on the ocean. That's a brilliant idea. All right, more enemies over here. This is the other place that you can sail to. There's even less here. Oh, I'm being flanked. Okay, I need to be more careful. I mean, these are still fairly easy enemies to me, but that's because my stats are high enough where it's not that big of a deal. I'm trying to conserve magic because it's not easy for me to heal back here. It's not like I can get out of here very easily. Okay, I see more enemies. I'm just far enough away from them. Let's go ahead and heal up. A little bit. I'm almost out of healing magic, which is going to suck. I think I might have first aid left, and that's about it. So, Temple of the Sun is a later on quest. Uh, it's not a good idea for me to do this now. And this is a Temple of Ba, for reference. I will walk in in a moment to show you what Temples of Ba are like. The friendly Temples of Ba, I should say. Alright, you're almost knocked out. Oh, I don't even have enough spell points for first aid. Good job. You know what? You're going to drink a potion. Because I don't like how low hit points you are right now. You're in death range, so... There we go, Lizard Wizard is dead, and you are the last one I have to worry about and taken care of. So, you'll notice that it is very cheap here. It only costs 2 gold to heal, whereas it normally costs 10. And the reason why is that your reputation will suffer. Watch. Also, creepy laugh. So my reputation at the moment is 247, which is respectable. And still 247. But. Donate once. 47. Donate a second time. Zero. Donate a third time. Zero.
Yep, it basically just zeroes out your reputation. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and load the quick save. So healing here is fine. They just don't cure a lot of status effects, so they're not a very good healer. Anyway, I think there's much else to do on the islands themselves. And I feel like going a little faster, so I'm going to fly instead. Let's go back to the mainland, which is actually where I have a quest. Yeah, that um, leafy attack thing, that's actually what I'm talking about by um, the Earth Magic spell. That is Deadly Swarm, I want to call, let's say. I'm being attacked from all the way over there, basically. You can actually dodge attacks from flight. It's pretty fun. Apologize if I'm not saying much. I'm actually not feeling very well today. I've had a fairly bad brain day today. Okay. Just gonna kill the lizard wizards really fast. have people unconscious. I'm not paying attention. Uh, you are going to heal yourself before you heal anybody else because I don't want you to not be able to heal anybody. Because I only have one healer in this party. That's the one downside of the way I have this party set up. That's why I usually have a druid instead of a knight. Or another cleric for that matter. But I wanted to have a knight this time because I don't normally do that. How many points you're at? Two. Good job. Now you're not at two. Now you're at 15. Uh, three of your regular cannibals? Yeah, I'm fine. And that is that. Clean up some dead bodies. I'm totally doing this game in the wrong order, by the way. Um, while I can totally be here, uh, for reference, the edge of this map, if I kept going straight, I would hit New Sur and uh, Free Haven. And if I went south, I would end up hitting Castle Iron Fist. So this isn't exactly that far away. But this is not an area I'm supposed to be in. Temple of the Fist is where I have a quest at. Uh, I think I will do that the next time. I want to explore this area a bit more first. Those are lowercase flowers. I think it was Temple of the Fist that Sherry's in, isn't it? And here's the fourth creature type, Peasant. There's a small town here. It's a very small town. Do you do anything not terrible? Oh, you do actually do something not terrible. Temporary Might is nice. Looks like, it, like it's getting late in game. Hi there. Uh, wizard I just dropped. How are you today? Factor, which is for money. Oh. Armor shop, which is closed because it's late. All the shops are closed because it's late. How are you today? Expert chain training. Didn't I actually increase your skill and chain? No. Well, now I have. How are you? Okay. There we go. You're an expert in chain now. Congratulations. How are you? This is the one I was looking for. Expert perception. Remember, I need to have somebody expert perception to even be able to continue on in the game. Well, there's a lot of stuff over here. Also enemies. But the enemies in this section of the game don't exactly scare me. I am high enough level... And this time, unlike what I said last time, I actually do mean level in this case. Right. 
I forgot. I am still low enough level where things are deadly. I keep forgetting. I'm used to playing this game where I'm much higher level than I actually am in this case. Die. Heal. Die. Sparks. I hit a couple, at least. Uh, you weren't the one I was trying to aim at. I probably should have aimed at the Witch Doctor. Um, I have Bless. And I miss anyway. Oh, it's night now. Can't you tell from the... Everything getting suddenly dark. Sparks is such a nice spell. Um, you're the highest level thing here. I rolled low. You're going to heal him. Now you're dead. You're all regular cannibals. Die. 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 Sparks. Heal. Die. Clear out dead bodies. I can't quite reach that one. Okay, this is more manageable. There we go. Everybody's dead now. Hooray! Everybody's dead. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's still a bunch of racist stereotypes. So, this is an area where you can find bones and some impaled scantily clad knights that because of the way this game works it's actually in 2d so no matter what angle you look at it is always that that is not going to be my thumbnail quick pots on the other hand usually have food so this has a chest i'm going to save because this chest could kill me nope just mostly killed me and plus i have a better shield now that is totally enchantable. That is not. Oh dear, they were far down in negatives, weren't they? We should not engage in more enemies right now. Because I am the weak. I may actually have to sleep again. Ugh. I know, it's such a horrible thing, sleeping. At the very least, I'm going to stop this recording about here. It's a reasonably good stopping point. Oh, that's right. So those blue things down below me are bones. If you pick up a bone, which I didn't pick up any bones, right? No, okay. I really wish I could also, you keep breaking your dang leather armor. I can do. No. That's right, I didn't actually pick up plate armor because I had to rush. Rat. Um, that's 12, that's 6, uh -huh. that's 7. Yeah, that's enchantable. That's not. I don't have enough magic to enchant anything right now anyway. That's fine. I should rest, enchant, sell, and then head out, I believe. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, there's one enemy down here. Let's go after this. Oh, nope, that's a group. Never mind. Archers, too. I hate archers. That was the might. Well, this is for training. I am not ready to level up. There's something over here. Yep, this is something I need to grab anyway. This is the Fountain of Magic. That is going to be key for a quest that I will be grabbing uh, quite possibly next time, actually. Um, it's a very important quest. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up a bit since I don't really want to sleep. I may end up save scumming a little bit to try and... Let's set you to enchant item and start enchanting. Let's sell bait anyway. 
cha steel chain mail of doom. It's a relatively weak enchantment, actually. It's plus one to seven stats. Am I past midnight? No. Okay. Um, what's the moon phase? Three quarter moon. Okay. So according to what I've been reading, the best times for you to enchant are sometime between noon and midnight, or sorry, at noon or at midnight. And also when the moon is full. I don't know what to believe about it because I haven't seen any evidence whatsoever that that's actually the case. But let's try it, shall we? Oh, can't try it. It's not high enough quality. I was wrong. Um, I, that means I don't have anything that's actually enchantable, do I? Maybe somebody's in somebody's inventory? I don't think that's enchantable. Nope. Well, I just broke my gauntlets as a result. Oh, well. I will try that at some other time. So, um, I have basically gotten everything I need from here other than trying to complete a quest. Oh, there is actually a house of healing. Okay. It's an expensive place. And it's still guardian angel trap. Okay. So, I will go ahead and stop here. I will talk to you next time. And, well, enjoy. I'll probably just record another video immediately after this. Let's be honest here. I'm having fun. Bye.